All right. Yes. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun. And I have a very special guest. I'm so excited because I have the one and only Kristen Gassaway. Wave! Um, Kristen is the genius behind the two quilts behind me. This is Open Skies. You might have seen it when I was doing stuff with uh, Connecting Threads, their exclusive block of the months. To the right is Bountiful. I... um finished it a month early because I was confused. That's what happens when you travel so much. So um, I'm super excited because we're getting ready to launch or we're, I get more you. I'm just, I just like come along for the ride, but um, connecting threads is getting <laughs> right. Uh, connecting threads is getting ready to launch um, their newest exclusive block of the month featuring their hometown America hometown Americana line. And um, it's another Kristen Gassaway original, amazing, um, but it launches today on the 14th. So I'm so excited because I figured I was like, hey, will you come on my channel and chat a little bit and tell us, you know, what inspired the, the quill and a little bit about it. And yeah, we just figured we're going to chat because I don't get enough time to chat with her. And we always have a fun laughing time because you know how we are. Kristen we is like the girl version of me. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you're well, we've just figured out that she is not as cluttery as me. So that there's that. Also, she's yeah. probably more um what's the word I'm looking for? You have your you have all your ducks in a row. Because mine oh, are well, definitely off in every direction. I pretend to have my ducks in a row. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to tell everybody a little bit about yourself, Kristen? Oh my gosh. Um sure. I don't know what people want to know. Uh, I would kind of, I guess by my own opinion, late to quilting, like in my mid thirties, my mom. So I think we talked about this before in another video for connecting threads, but, um, mm -hmm. yeah, my mom was a very, very avid sewer and quilter and she kind of got me started. Um, when I was a kid, I didn't really enjoy sewing, but in my thirties, my mom said, Hey, you should sign up for this quilting class. I think you'll really like it. And so I did. And I, I fell in love with it and I I've always loved quilts and quilting and the quilts my mom made and so yeah this just became the next progression I've always loved things that are artistic and crafty and I used to paint and stuff but anyway quilting has just become really my passion and I feel so grateful that it's my career um right. let's see I don't know if you want to know like I'm married I have four sons they're all adults <laughs> oh I didn't know you had all boys I have all boys, and one of them just got married uh, oh. two weeks ago tomorrow. So. Oh my gosh! Congratulations! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm trying to bring girls into the family through marriage, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> got two daughter-in-laws now, and I adore them. I adore them. So, anyway. I hope you. I'm good thing you said that because they could watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> no, I adore them anyway. I still honestly like my daughter-in-laws can do no wrong. I think oh, they are right. just, and I'm also like, you know, always saying, I did the best I could to raise these boys, but if, you know, if anything's amiss, I just apologize. I did my best. <laughs> so, no, I've got good kids, and I've got great daughter-in-laws. Oh, my gosh. That's so, so anyway, I have a great husband, and I live in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else people want to know. <laughs> so, um, how long, so you started quilting in your mid-30s. When yeah. did you start pattern designing? That was like 2006, 2007 was when I started. I first started at Connecting Threads. Um, they had other pattern designers doing yeah. original designs. And then I was kind of hired to take their library of designs that they owned and kind of recolor and refresh them. And then mm -hmm. that just gradually turned into, they're saying, well, Kristen, we think you should start doing some original designs. And I went, ah, I don't know if I can do that. That's so scary. <laughs> and so I tried my hand at it. And my first one was kind of, you know, it was uh -huh. a learning experience. It's all been a learning curve, really. Oh, um, but yeah, and I just kept doing it and kept doing it and have been learning as I go and have been grateful to you know, people that have helped me on my journey. And, and I do, I really love it. Connecting threads gives me, you know, fabrics. You can kind of see behind me, I have a little bulletin board. They'll send me a little PDF of swatches and they just say, what do you want to do with it? So anyway, I've had a great, 
But sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm I'm gonna try not to interrupt, but is that their color with right. solids right there? Yes, that is. <gasps> Are they actually swatches or is it a printout? No, it's a printout, but it's actually oh. um they print it out for me at the office. I'm lucky that I live pretty close to connecting oh, that's right. you're up there. Yep. So I just pop in there and um so they printed that out on their fancy printer for me. So the pan tones are totally correct. Perfect. Like that's right. the color corrected thing. And I use that because, I mean, I design everything on the computer, mm -hmm. but sometimes what my computer screen looks like and what it looks like in real life isn't exactly oh. the same. I also have, I have like charms of all of their color wheel solids and their tonals mm -hmm. and, you know, all of those. For color matching because the great thing about connecting threads so if something even like on a fabric line like um this you know hometown americana mm -hmm. if there's a print that says barn red and then that will match with the barn red tonal or the barn red solid you know that but oh, you yeah. know they keep their naming conventions consistent mm -hmm. so that really helps customers match and it helps me as a designer too so i know if on the right. computer screen it says this print is barn red i can pull the barn red and go oh, okay all right it's always helpful to have the actual fabric but i do design on the computer with computer generated digital digital swatches so. mm -hmm. it's um it's yeah. interesting because i that's one of the things i really like about them too because you know um i was just looking through the fabric for like that we're going to be using for liberty lane and I, are we using, we are using barn red. We're using yeah. barn red. Um, yeah, I have and, it back here too, yeah. Yeah, it, that's so funny. I, I have the, the swatches, not the swatches, but the stack right here. And um, like, I know that in afternoon tea from the the um, Amherst, the, the, they have the mm -hmm. two different glaciers and we're using a tonal and then a glacier in the thing. And I actually was put in a video. I was like, look, these are the same colors. It's it's the yeah. nice thing. I love that all of their prints you can mix and match and stuff. So mm -hmm. if you um if you want to make it bigger, you know, if you're doing the block of the month, you're like, oh, I want to make this bigger, and you can't get yardage anymore of the fabric, you can always go in and get some solids. Mm -hmm. And um, it just they make it super easy. I think there's actually yeah. barn red here too. Yeah, yeah, there is some barn red. There. <laughs> there oh, see, I'm pointing too, like that quilt. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other corner. I was like. I don't know why. Oh, because I'm mirrored on the screen. That's why. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I don't know. So, um, so uh, I just went blank. That <laughs> happens a lot. <laughs> Sometimes in the middle of a sentence. Um, so I know that uh, we've, we've chatted before. We've kind of done a Zoom with uh, the open skies, but that was closed and only the people there. So I didn't, yeah. you didn't get to go out to the masses. So oh, I know exciting. at one point we talked, you've, and uh, 500, right? Like you've written about 500 patterns? No, like about 250. Oh, okay. I knew it was, no. a, it was Wait. a multiple. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a lot. And I think I said in that video too, like they're not all winners. No, that was my favorite part of the video was that they're not all winners. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like as a quilter and as quilters, uh, everybody feels like they have to be perfect and they can't make a mistake. And it's like, it's those mistakes that you realize, well, that didn't work. But if I change it this much, I think that might be the fix. And then you have this whole brand new thing. Um, I was making yeah. a bag the other day and I was using vinyl for the first time. So I made the pattern out of regular fabric. And mm -hmm. I was like, well, this would never work if I was using the vinyl. It's not going to work like this. I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me just switch the order that I do everything and change the pattern up a little bit to make and do everything that I need to where the hard part wouldn't work and then just connect it at the end and it worked. And then the bag came out good and it was my first vinyl bag. And I felt like, oh. I was so now I'm, all I want to do is make vinyl bags. <laughs> you know how it is. You find something. And it's like, what was uh, that? When you find something that you like, and then it's like, okay, now, now you're stuck in this little, this uh, side street for a little bit. But um, um, so I'm going to post a picture of the quilt here. Okay. And um, what's it? Do you, you have a picture of it behind you? What is your favorite part of this quilt? Oh my god! Do you have a favorite part? What inspired this quilt? Oh yeah. Um, what inspired this quilt? Um, I mentioned this to you before, but that was before mm -hmm. we were recording. So we were I'll, serious. Um, before we were serious. Yeah. 
So my inspiration really came from my mom, who, um, who really was the quilter that taught me how to be a quilter and is really responsible for my career and where I'm at. And uh, my mother sewed everything on the planet under the sun. You know, she sewed all my clothes growing up and everything. But my mother, um, she became a quilter first mm-hmm. and then got me into quilting. And my mother loved Americana everything. Like, she decorated her house that way. She loved Americana quilts. In fact, when I, she passed away two years ago. And when I was going through her fabric, it was like, stars and red white and blue I cannot I mean stacks and stacks and stacks of Americana fabric and so when I designed this quilt it was really kind of like to honor my mom and all the things that she loved and she loved houses and flags and stars and all of that so this is a quilt that would just make my mom's heart happy Uh if she were here so it makes me happy to look at it because it makes me think of her and all the things she taught me, and sorry, I keep looking over this because I have it on my screen over on this. Side. I know I keep popping, I keep popping it up, so like my eyes are <laughs> doing something. Weird. I'm like, it's right there when I'm looking at it. So anyway, um, yeah, it just it's a it's a quilt that um reminds me of my sweet mom, and and I love Americana stuff too. So this was mm. a fun one for me to design. Right. Well, I I like the hometown Americana line. It's it's like a staple for connecting threads. Um, yeah. It's, you know, we were talking again before we actually got serious. And um, I was telling you that these are not quilts that if I saw the pattern, I would necessarily run out and go like, oh, I have to make this. But in making them, I, I feel like you are changing my trajectory of what I like to do. And um, and really, before this one, I hated half square triangles. Like they, I, they, I still feel like they're the bane of so my existence. Many. There, there are so many, and you love a half square triangle. Everybody, I, Kristen Gasway loves a half square triangle. I know, uh, I do, I do. <laughs> but you know, they're so. I mean, like we made leaves. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, all the sashings in the blocks here. It's so funny because I keep doing it. Um, but all the sashings, like they, they're a, they're so. Um, oh gosh, what a. They're like the putty of quilting. You can turn them into anything. You know, you just put yeah. things together. You don't necessarily have to make a flying geese. You could throw two half square triangles together. So when I saw when I saw the Liberty Lane and I actually opened it and saw the whole picture, I called one of my friends um, who I work with over with Handy Quilter and um, said, "Hey, just to let you know, on the fourteenth, you're signing up for um, for a block of the month from Connecting Threads because one." It is Americana. You love that. And two, it also has houses on it. And she loves houses and quilts. Oh. So um, she's like, and I sent her a picture. She's like, oh my gosh. I said, I'll see you on the 14th. I will remind you to go sign up. <laughs> um, and well, like, sorry, and, go oh no, this is uh, the very much a Ben quilt. He loves, mm-hmm. he's very more traditional and everything. So I was like, look at this quilt that we're going to have. And he's like, oh, we're keeping that one. <laughs> oh well good. good and this one doesn't have nearly as many half square triangles in it uh no lots of flying geese lots of flying geese <laughs> you love i love flying geese i love flying making geese. flying geese i love making flying geese every way possible you know and um you know if i paper piece them i love it if i use a geese ruler i love it if i four at a time or two at a time or whatever i will use i will do them all <laughs> <laughs> All day long. So. All day long. And you know, honestly, it's weird because again, a flying geese is just like two Oscar triangles. I don't know why I like them so much, but I love them. I really like them too. And my favorite way to make them is actually the no waste method where you make the bigger square and you add the other squares to them. But I've had customers go back and forth going, ah, oh, can you not use that method? And we like this. And so mm. I've gone back and forth in my patterns because I, and do both ways of directions but uh-huh. so it uh, so are you going to give both ways in the in the pattern or how how's this one doing it because I, I did notice um, that that uh look, amherst, right like, amherst is doing four at a time like the no waste method yes unless there's a couple blocks and you might notice it on next month mm-hmm. or like one side is one fabric and the other triangles the other fabric oh, right. you, know, so you have to do stitch and flip Mm-hmm. I'm looking. I'm I'm looking over here at my other screen right. right now, and I have the no waste method. Mm-hmm. Isn't that bad I that do. I can? Yeah. 
it's it's the way it's my preferred method. I also like like to something that isn't going to make it bigger and trim it down. Yeah, Eleanor Burns does a really fun way to do it too that I mm -hmm. learned a long time ago, but I haven't done it in forever. But oh, right. it reminds me of what you're talking about. Yeah, or you can paper piece them or whatever. I yeah. don't ever paper piece my flying triangles or my flying geese, but I will yeah. be showing people how to do that. If yeah, 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 yeah. It, because um, connecting threads has the papers you need. So I know they do. Yeah, they do. So that's one of the things that, um, I. So Kristen comes up with the fabulous patterns. Um, Mickey runs runs um, is the moderator of a Facebook group that is just for people who are in the block of the month. And then I come in and just act goofy on videos. Like <laughs> basically, basically that's it. I show you some tricks. Um, if I if there's a gadget I like, I show it off. It's Kristen introduced us to Cluck Cluck Sew Tape, and now it's on everything. I started sending it out to friends, and they're like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that I didn't know this exists. Yeah. It's... You don't have to draw all those lines all the time. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm a fan of the Cluck Cluck Sew Tape. Right. Um, I just, everybody, just go links below sign up um though i guess one of the nice things about it, because we do have that uh facebook group mm -hmm. is that you are like i'm on it you're on it mickey's on it um i love that people actually get to ask you questions and that you respond oh. i mean do you always get a chance to no not like in right. the first hour but you always get back to people and like when do we get that from the pattern designer oh you know you don't get that anywhere well, I try. I do try. And there are some people who ask questions that I missed or I didn't get to it fast enough and someone mm -hmm. else answered it. And I think, well, I would have answered. I would have told them the same thing. So, uh -huh. you know, I don't chime in with, yes, that's right. That's what you should <laughs> do. Maybe I should. I don't know. I love interacting with the customers, though, you know. Oh. And it's so funny because people will, I've had customers occasionally say, oh, my gosh, I can't believe you answered. And I'm like, and Adam, you know, this too. we're just real people. We're, we're real people. people. You know, we're not like special or fancy or anything. We're right. just, yeah. So, and I love that. I love that I have the opportunity to do that. I honestly just feel so humbled and honored that people like what I do, that they want right. to take the investment and make a quilt with me and, and quilt along with you and Mickey. And Mickey does a great job too. She's really, she, she is good. And she's, the funny thing is, she's not a big social person, social media person. Like she'll post here and there, but when she gets on that, uh, the thread actually has time to kind of read through and answer questions. She's, she's very good at it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and well, and for me, because I have connecting threads is so great to me and I have multiple block of the month happening. I was going to say, you have three. So yeah, I've got three going on right now and there's, yeah. And then, well, Bountiful will be finished before we get dive into Liberty Lane. Oh, so, yeah. Yes, yeah, so the week, the month. Of, but then I'll still have three because I have Aurora and Amherst as well. Okay. So, you know, so that gets a little crazy for me. So sometimes I, I, I miss things or whatever. Mm. So I apologize to customers if I don't get back. If people e email me, I'm oh, usually right. pretty good about trying to answer people's questions on email. So, um, and you, you also put out a blog post, which I forgot to mention. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Which is construction and everything, how to do stuff. So it's, it's, I don't know, I, um, I've done block of the month in the past and I never finished them. So, uh, open, open yeah. eyes, the first one I've ever yeah. finished. I mean, they're not bound, but they're as finished as Adam likes to do. I don't like the bunny part. And then, uh, bountiful done a month early. Yeah. Like a month early. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so I just, it's, I think, um, having that Facebook group, where you have not only support, you're seeing what other people, you're seeing other people do it. So you're like, oh, I'm going to go get my dog, mm -hmm. you know, kind of thing. And okay. there's a, there's a few people that since the open sky started, have started joining them and they'll message me and say like, where are you? I'm working on my leaves. I know you're behind too. Like, uh, let's be honest. <laughs> I've made one block from Amherst and we're in month two. So yeah. I was gone. I, I actually thought it was starting this month. And, yeah. and then I saw oh, people I like, yeah, I thought month one was coming this month. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to be home. No, it was last month when I was home for two days. And um, I was I was just laughing because it it's just they all kind of just go together. I don't know how you 
do three at a time and i just have the two and i'm just like oh my gosh where's where what's going yeah, on you didn't do aurora, I didn't do yeah. aurora yeah yeah so, so um yeah it does get a little crazy because i'm also designing new things at the oh, same right. time like, there's a tiny little sneak peek of one coming out next spring but i don't know if i'm supposed to show it yet so Oh, well, we can't yeah. really see it that good until somebody zooms in. They're going to zoom in like, look yeah. what Kristen showed. Yeah. What is that? I'll move my head over. Wait, it's an that. Easter egg. It's an Easter egg. <laughs> it's an Easter egg, yeah. So that won't be coming out for a little while. But um, oh, nice. yeah, it, so, there, so that means because I'm doing all these at the same time and, you know, trying to design and, and do other stuff for my business, I don't always get onto the Facebook group like I like, or, right. but I try. I do try. And I do love seeing what the customers are doing. You know, oh, right. I feel like customers are like my cool friends. And mm -hmm. so, yeah. As long as they're fun. nice, be nice, everybody. Yes. <laughs> most, most people they, are. I, most there hasn't people. really been anybody in the, I mean, by the year and a half that I've been affiliated with them, I, yeah. I've never seen anybody in the group get really mad. The Usually it's like, oh my gosh, my, um, if if it's something like oh my shipment didn't come or uh, oh I was mm -hmm. missing a fabric but I called and they just sent me a new shipment you know it's it's, yeah. never, it's always like but I called customer service and now everything's fine thank you you know so that again, another service. thing I love about connecting threads so. yeah they have really great customer service they yeah. really really do they want everyone to be happy with what they're doing I will say one little thing I get customers emailing me frequently telling me that they're missing a fabric or, or something from their kit. And I can't help with that. I'm so sorry. I wish I could, but I'm not connecting threads. I write the pattern and everything. Mm -hmm. But but if you contact connecting threads, they will be more than happy to help you right. with your fabric. So I just, I message them back and I say, oh, here's connecting threads. Talk yeah. to them and they'll, they'll hook you up. So, but you if people too. have questions about, the pattern or they don't understand the instructions or or something you know i'm always there the only one that's tricky for me is i'll get customers saying i'm like a quarter inch short or i'm a half inch short and unless i okay. actually saw their block like mm -hmm. i have to i would have to be right there with them and say okay well here's that's hard here's where you went wrong right like that's really tricky to do i would love to help with that I wish I could just have everybody over to my house and we would just, you know, sew this all together and I could be I right just, there. It's like, oh, you're a quarter inch off. Okay, let's just stretch it a little bit. <laughs> Th throw some steam and do one of these. <laughs> well, and that goes back to what you were talking about where, um, like, we're not perfect quilters either, you no. know? It, there's, it, it's, an, it's an art. It's not a science. And so, yeah. in fact, the Bountiful quilt, and I blogged about this, too, because that's a medallion-style quilt. And so when you're adding the borders around the edge and you keep building and building, sometimes you'll end up with some borders that they don't match up with what the square that you're trying to sew them around as you keep getting bigger and bigger. And I actually had that happen when I was adding my leaf blocks. I was like, oh, my gosh, these rows are like an inch longer than they're supposed okay. to be. And I'm the designer, you uh -huh. know. So um, I had that happen on Bountiful, but um, I I was using a different foot than I usually stitch with. And everything, when I changed my foot back to my normal foot, everything went back to normal. I called yeah. Mickey. I said, I am a half inch off. Like that's, that's not a quarter, a half inch is a lot. And um, she's like, what are you going to do? I'm like, oh, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I think I, I think I just added, it's actually right here over my shoulder. Uh oh, wrong side. Yeah, I just added it. No, maybe that was from you. No, I yeah, that's already supposed to be that. Oh way. no, but I made it bigger. <laughs> I you made it bigger know? to fit. I made and it bigger. And no one would ever know. Yeah. No one would ever know. Oh, I just point. I always tell people, don't point out your mistakes. <laughs> hey, well, right here, this is my mistake, but I fixed it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was, I was doing. Uh, I was went to a a quilt or um, a, like sit and stitch the other day last week, mm -hmm. and um. I was making a block and I, I had just started. There was only two seams. So there's no reason that it shouldn't have lined up. And it was, <laughs> it was too long. And I'm like, what is going on? And I, so I started doing the math. I started, the pattern's wrong. <laughs> it, it ended up being, there was a, there was a misprint. And um, so I'm like, there's no way that these can ever 
match up to match that. Up. So I just changed it. I just changed the math. I, I changed math because I'm magic. <laughs> <laughs> math too. You know, my worst thing is I will design a quilt and I'll sell it to connecting threads and whatever. And then later on, I'll go to sew it. I don't do this with the block of the month, but with other quilts. And then I go, oh, well, you know what? I think this will look cuter if I did it this way or this way. So I don't even follow my own pattern sometimes uh, after I'm done. So, right. Then, but that's the beauty of quilting. We can adapt it for to whatever uh -huh. you want. So, Do you ever find um, I was pattern testing and I was like, okay, it was like make half square triangle or make, it was make flying geese. So mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I can, I can, I know how to make flying geese. So I said, no, I'm pattern testing. I'm going to do everything like it says in the pattern. And I found, I found a mistake. I found a, a, a misprint. And um, then it was like, oh my gosh, how do I tell them? I said, hey, I think the math isn't adding up. You know, I just kind of reached out, whatever. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it was that it was, but I would have, if I would have just made it the way I knew how, the math would have been right because I would have been like, oh yeah, this is how, how big you cut it and do all this. And um, so I'm glad that like I did that, but pattern testing is stressful. Yeah. Cause you know, is. if you. And I'm really grateful for the people that helped me test mine, but even with all of the testing and my own testing, you know, mm -hmm. every once in a while a mistake does slip through. Oh, yeah. I personally am actually grateful if a customer emails me, like I, I don't, I wouldn't want a customer to feel bad, you know, as long as they're right. nice about it, and they usually are. And, um, I thank them. I correct it. I send them the correction. I usually will, um, tell them to pop on the connecting for the website and say, Hey, right. pick another pattern of mine that you might like. And I'll just email you a PDF as a thank you. Cause oh, right. I'm, I'm really grateful actually if people, you know, mm -hmm. and um, sometimes it's amazing how long those things, have been out there that you didn't know about because people uh, are like, Oh, I'm making a four patch. Okay. I'm just going to do this because they mm -hmm. know how to make a four patch and they know, okay, well it's, it ends at four. Okay. I need a, a two and a half inch box, you know? Yeah. So and my patterns too are very diagram heavy. I sew by pictures. So I always, make Oh, sure your pictures are so good. Pictures for every step. Oh, thank you. It, so, it really is. Uh, it's helpful to me because that's how I would want patterns. Uh -huh. So, but I think because of that, a lot of people, when they buy my patterns, they're going off the pictures and maybe not reading the directions real carefully or whatever, okay. you know, they just kind of know. I had a pattern with connecting threads. I think it was, was it Jubilee? There was a mistake in it for like three years. Oh and I gosh. sold like thousands of them. Uh -huh. Before a customer emailed me and said, hey, I don't think this is right. And I went and I looked and I went, oh my gosh. Oh no, it was Swerve. It was a pattern called Swerve. I'm like, yeah, this was totally, you're right. I was uh -huh. mortified. But, <laughs> but no one, I mean, yeah. no one else picked up on it. They just went, eh. Or maybe people noticed and they thought, oh, it's not a big deal. Because it was a small mistake. But still, oh. it was a mistake. So. Oh, yeah. Anyway, it happens. We're yeah. human. We're human, yeah. Hey, it, you know, I always say at the end of the day, it's just a quilt. What the, you know, make that block again. Actually, I had to change some of the colors over here. I'll show you after we get off because um, okay. I ran out, and I'm like, oh well, that'll be a good acorn. And I think I don't know if I lost a piece because they sent me yardage. So, like, you know, I get brick red. I get all my yardage, and then I try to cut the kits is pe how people would get them. But then I'm like, oh, well, I'm not going to cut that kit. I have all this extra because connecting threads sends you so much fabric. Um, so I had all this extra and I'm like, just started cutting off the extra. And then I think, a, I think a, there's a fat quarter floating oh, around the room somewhere. So I really do try to pad the yardage and connecting oh. threads cuts very generously to begin with. Like if they're yeah. sending you half the yard, it's probably 20 inches. Mm -hmm. You know, they're really great about that. Um, so they aren't trying to shortchange anyone at all. Um, and I love that they're generous, but I too try to be generous with the yardage. I mean, not like crazy, crazy, but we all make mistakes or we oh, cut yeah. something the wrong size and I want customers to have enough to be able to fix their mistake, especially for quilts that I've done. I mean, Bountiful and Aurora, um, those were ones they said, hey, we have the solids collection or we have, you know, will you design a fall themed quilt with these tonals? And oh, right. you know, so sometimes they'll give me specific direction. Um, and those 
you can reorder and reorder and reorder those fabrics. They'll have them forever. But um, for, let me think, like Mercantile or some of... Well, even Amherst. Even Amherst, yes. Yeah. Right? Amherst is the perfect example because Afternoon Tea, that's a specific collection. And once they run out, they run out. And so customers yeah. can't go back and order. And I would hate for a customer to run out of fabric before they're finished with their quilt and not be able to order more or whatever. So I really try to keep that in mind when I'm designing so that I'm not real tight with yardage. So well, you do a great job. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, no, I, like I said, I am so excited. It been, I actually showed uh bountiful to Ben. He hadn't seen it yet since it'd been oh. built in. He did the AIDS life cycle ride last week. So he rode from San Francisco to LA. That. Oh so my he, gosh. You know, oh my he's, his, uh, it totally it just blows my mind that he did that. But um, he's half asleep and sore on the couch yesterday. I'm like, wait, did I show you Bountiful? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I throw it around. He's like, what are you going to do with that? I said, well, it's going to get bound and then you're going to lay under it on the couch. Like, you know, because that's yeah. what I mean. And I think I might give um, open skies to my mom. I'm like, but it has to get bound. I don't know. I don't, who knows? I like a big quilt. I want to be able to cuddle in the thing. I want it to wrap around me and everything. So, um, and I just, I'm like, I'll just keep them all. That's fine. <laughs> we I know. Need I, yeah. I have a hard time giving my quilts away because mm -hmm. they're like my children, you know, especially the oh, sort yeah. of or whatever so if i if i am making it specific for someone like i love doing that it's like oh, i get to pick yes. the fabrics to fit them and stuff but so like if i'm just making a quilt like i need to quilt something and i want to make something um like it's i'm the same way it's like i just want to snuggle and love that thing mm -hmm. the dogs love it you know yeah. they're, all memories. they're all memories and this is going to be the memory of like oh i you shouldn't use that foot to piece and this one's going to be the memory of like oh my gosh you kind of like a half square triangle a little more now <laughs> and amherst is currently oh my oh my gosh should you line up all your fabrics so you know how like the white and amherst is the pebble on pebble um because yeah, it is that that one does have a directional background uh -huh. to it. But I wrote totally it already messed up. I'm like, I don't even pay attention to that because I figure if it's not real obvious when you're uh -huh. looking at it, I don't really care. Uh -huh. so. you'll see a post in that facebook group later because i already messed up i'm like oh yes i wonder if i should pay attention to these i'm like oh you are no one block out of the first four is going the opposite direction <laughs> <laughs> and i like well, whatever no like you said it's it's white on white nobody's ever going to see it so no no all right. Well, I don't want to keep you all day, but uh, any parting words, anything you might want to let the people know? Can I, I actually have a question for you? So okay. um, you, you are on social media. Not that you're super active. You need to be better. We were discussing that. Yes. <laughs> but um, where can people find you? And do you sell any of your patterns? Like, do you have a website, or is most of the stuff through Connecting Threads? Just, I'm right now I'm only selling through connecting threads. I took the website down to redo it and then was having I um had some other things happening in my life that that got put on the back burner. So I am gonna bring it back and sell patterns direct to consumer at some point. But for right now they can go find most of my patterns on connecting threads um okay. are there. They're not well, I've written over two hundred and fifty and there's definitely not two hundred and fifty on the connecting threads website. <laughs> Tons my more popular ones that people like and enjoy are up there and I keep posting more block of the month um, as we're wrapping those up but those don't get sold on the connecting threads website until after they've finished after we've all finished mm -hmm. and they finished shipping those out to the customers that ordered them so eventually those are findable on the connecting I did notice website. that open skies is there now yeah yeah so. and bountiful will be popping up real soon so. And, um, yeah, and I have a couple old ones that I hadn't put up yet, which I'm going to do. So, yeah, they can find me there. I'm on Instagram. Um, I What's am your handle? On, what was your, that? Do you know oh, your Instagram it's handle? Thrilled to Pieces is my. Say it one more time. Thrilled to Pieces. Thrilled to Pieces, okay. And my name's under it, too, Christine Gasway. So you can find me there. Hmm. And you can find posts about my life outside of quilting there, too. Um so yeah, but I am I am real bad at social media. I know Adam. I'm not as good as you. You're amazing at it. And I'm 
It's it's a full time job. <laughs> yeah, it's you're you're making you're making patterns, and I'm like, oh, look at this pattern. <laughs> you know, I know. I know you post about my stuff way more than I do. <laughs> hey, I do love it. Like, it's I was telling someone, I'm like, you know, if I find something I like, I really post a lot about it. You know, it's because it's the I mean it's word of mouth but it's social media mouth you know it's um you so I, I for, you know being my social media PR guy welcome I'm I, I have to tell you I'm a, I'm a big fan I we haven't known each other that long but I'm a very big fan of yours um so everybody I will link Likewise. below Huh? Oh, thank you. Um, I will link below. If I can, I'll link a, a link to Connecting Threads um, that is a search of Kristen's patterns. Um, I have to see if I am smart enough to do that, if I can smarter than the computer. Um, but I will also... Huh? I said you're smarter than me about that. Like, I, yeah. <laughs> I will also link um, signups for Liberty or Liberty Lane. Signups will be just for a month. I believe it's June 14th to July 16th or something like that. Um, and so I, I'm assuming if signups are ending the 16th, you might not know this because neither of us work for Connecting Threads. But um, if signups in the 16th, they are starting shipments in August. That's usually how it works. So okay. after the signups are done, then they'll ship the, the month after. So yeah, I would imagine the beginning of August. But I know people who sign up like right when it happens in June uh -huh. that um, then they think, well, why don't I have my kit yet? Well, they're, you got to wait till the whole sign up period is over. Right. So, but I will also say, and this has happened with some of my patterns, because um, Connecting Threads does limited runs of these. Correct. So you they they can sell out, and mm -hmm. they frequently do. So, um, in fact, was it Open Skies? Open Skies sold out. It sold out in like a week and a half or something. Oh, like, did it really? It sold out wow. really fast, faster than they anticipated, which, I mean, was so sweet. Hey, and, Ooh, you congratulations. Know, yay, I know. It was really nice. Um, so, yeah. So if it's something that you love, I would sign up sooner rather than later. You just have to be patient until the, the kit comes along. So Right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to say we're starting in August, but if it's not August and it's September, that's not our fault. We don't work there. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I'll let you know, but um, I will be posting about it um, just because I think I love it. I love it. Uh, here's a picture oh, thank again. You. Um, and Thank you so much for coming on and spending some time with me. It was so good to see you because it's like, I need oh, to make a trip to up to, I need us, I need to make a trip up there. Um, I just, or I'm, me go down to you where it's like uh, beautiful and warm and sunny. Oh my gosh. You, you can't beat the weather right now. I, the, this, this crazy, um, like weird weather California is having because the coast right now is cold. And it's been like gloomy for like the last two months, three months. So we actually had some people who lived in Newport Beach who have a family condo right across our green belt. And they've been out here because it's been raining in Newport. So, um, and so because that is so cool, it's keeping us cool. So usually we're over a hundred degrees at, right now. And I think we're ho hovering like we're 83 today. Oh, you know, that's what we'll be here too in the Pacific Northwest. We've had a nice sunny spring so oh that's nice yeah 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 so, so anyway yes we do need to like see each other in person at it yeah, some we have to figure that out so. i really want to i really want to come to the ck or ct home office so we'll see oh what you happens. should you should it's so much fun there Right. So, but I can see all the things I I want. <laughs> I really need to go to the warehouse in Columbus. <laughs> no, I've actually never been to the warehouse in Columbus. Um, they used to have the warehouse here, and I right. went I saw that. But yeah, all fancy. So, um, well, thank you again for joining me. It has been a pleasure. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, make sure you go follow Kristen, and I will put her tag handles below. Um, Check out that block of the month. See things if you're interested. There's a lot of, it's connecting threads. They're going to give you a lot of stuff. There's a lot of extras. And you can be part of the Facebook group. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. Um, anything else? Do you have a tagline? I don't. You want a tagline? Let's think of something. Think of a tagline for me. Hmm. Um, okay, here, I got it. Okay. It's just a half score triangle. Do it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> mine is at the end of the day is just quilting. We want to have a good time. That's we'll, right. see, <laughs> we'll see you all Thank in the next so video, everybody. Bye. Bye.